Alrighty, welcome to TPL week two here. We got Acme Esports versus One Trick today. Our map will be Theme Park with Acme starting on defense. Uh, this is going to be a good map today. Both teams I've, I've played against personally, they're both very strong teams. Uh, that, yeah, I'm expecting some good things from both sides here. Interesting map choice though. I haven't seen many Theme Park games go down yet. Yeah, I, is this the first time we've seen Theme Park in Season I, 4? I think I think this is the first time we are going to be seeing Theme Park be played in TPL this season. So, it'll be a good one. Could be interesting. See see what both teams got on it. Um, and we got our new stream graphics set up. We do. Courtesy of OPL. You can check us out on OPL. Might have to plug the link. Okay, now you're too quiet, Sam. It's... I got turned back up. Yeah, Apparently. I turned you down way too far. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Oops. I just don't wanna don't wanna be too loud on the stream. Nah, you gotta yell. You gotta scream and shout and let it all out. No, we've just had like, um one time I was casting Brittany. with Roomba. No, so one time I was casting with Roomba and um I went back to watch the VOD and you couldn't hear anything over my voice. <laughs> so it was it was really bad. We do this real quick. I'll switch the Discord stream so you have game sound as well. There you go. Good bet. Thank just, you, sir. We are just waiting on the last player to get in lobby here. Um, once we are, we'll get the show on the road and get this match started. So. Yeah. How's your day been, Stan? Yeah, it's been all right. You know, just got right. some school done. Got some school done. Pretty good. First time casting in a while, though. I don't really cast. So granted, it'll be an interesting one. You know what I should do? Before we get started, I should get the controller going so that I can actually spectate or observe without it being absolutely horrible. All right. Yeah, no, I got my forklift ticket today, so that's cool. Your forklift ticket? Yes, sir. Ladies, hit me up. <laughs> Bro, I'm in the presence of a forklift certified. Officer. Damn right. I am forklift certified, Stan. This is wild, man. Yep. This is crazy. Heard it here first. Never thought I'd, I'd ever talk to a forklift certified operator, Bro. Never thought this would happen. I am legitimately a forklift certified operator. Where is this last guy? We'll get. Hang on, I'm gonna check audio real quick. Give me two seconds. Alrighty. All right, I think audio's chilling. Okay. Chat will yell at us um, if you know. Chat will yell if it's not good. Yeah, I do so. have Twitch muted. I have it open on my other monitor just to monitor it, but yeah, it's gonna open a stream manager audio. as one does. Might have to start a poll here, you know. Hmm. I'll try to flex down. Had zero, have zero oh. dropped frames so far. All right, still waiting on the fifth for Acme here. Um, so we need to get some more graphics going. Oh God, bro! Listen, we rushed this stuff, so it's okay, but. Could definitely be better. I won't yeah, for setting it up five minutes prior. I think it's not too listen, bad. Listen, but... <laughs> listen, it was pretty chaotic. I do have to say it was pretty chaotic. <laughs> but it was fun, though. It was fun. Bro, that's I mean, not where I wanted it. Even... I'm trying to move, move the quick action. Uh, there we go. 
All to right. a different spot because I want the chat on the right here. I can't win with this. All right. I can't win. All right. We're gonna reset the game. Everybody is in the lobby. So once we get the R's, we'll switch her over and get the show on the road. Reset the people. There we go. That's what I want. There we go. We're chilling. Alrighty. Get an R, so we'll switch it over. And let's rock and roll. It's not what I want to click, but there we go. Alrighty. Ready to uh, analyze these these op bands here? Are we ready? I'm not sure what to expect for operator bands here. We might get just some default stuff going. We might get some weird stuff. I'm not sure. I haven't seen either of these team teams play on Theme Park. Honestly, I, I, I'd i be expecting some basic stuff here. Because from what I know, many teams don't have strats set up for Theme. So, yeah. I think a band think, uh, coming out. It's a good band if you against a really frag-heavy team. Uh, yep. Which, you know... Get those nades and the gone six off the board as well as that sixty extra health per person. So, not not so much of a for, as normal of a ban as your Thatcher or Flores, but still a very strong ban nonetheless, and starting to become more meta. And speaking of meta bans, it goes your Thatcher. Yep. So, very fairly normal band. attacking bans. Yeah. See if we get weird on defense. I'm expecting a Cade, Mira, Valk, something along those lines, but you never know. Might get real weird and see Jaeger ban, but that would be, be interesting. Mira ban, Mirror ban again. Very... Yeah, really default ban. Upgrade. Fairly default bands for the most part. So, Let's see if we stick with default strats or if they decide to get a bit weird with it. But here we go into round one. In the Yana Thermite, or Jackal Thermite, fairly default attacking lineup we're seeing so far here. Got your nice balance yeah, of utility and fragging power. Defense also, not nothing too out of the blue. The Goyo is definitely a more interesting pick now after his rework. Hasn't seen as much play as before when he had his shields, but he's still a very strong operator nonetheless. We are getting into round one here. Once whoever's taking forever to load loads in. One thing I didn't see that I'll point out here. Our site for round one here will be Drug Lab and Storage, which that isn't a site you see very often. It's not in your sort of armory default as your first objective, so we'll see how they're Defenders able, protect how they your hold bombs this and if they're able to pull away around win with it. Because it is a different, it, it, interesting site to hold. Most teams you'll see they'll hold upstairs and try to keep that pressure as long as possible without getting pushed out, which it looks like doing. Setting up a whole lot of destruction on day, daycare, getting his shields down, holding holding that top floor from a push from one trip. Then down down below, we're not seeing actually any setup in sight at the moment. Just the one one soul guy showing in sight. We're starting to get a little setup done. Back up the stairs. Just the extending below or Five above seconds remaining. the daycare box area, trying to hold that. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and One trick it. is doing a split spawn here. Looks like they might be going for a hinge on that top floor. We'll to see how they decide to take it. Fairly default operator lineup, though, for, on both sides. Trying to move into the map here. Attackers have located a bomb. We will see mainly, it's looking like they're going to try to go for pressure directly from the cafe. We already got one player repelled on that break from this year. Got two players pressure on the break, and also the force everybody playing out of there. 
It looks like we might see a run out over, over on the maintenance side, but he's going back up before he do, does any damage on these two players on right now. Looks like he's swinging into break room. And it's starting to get, get pressure on upstairs already. The drone is on the mute. Takes down here now. Oh, Big bad. opening break. Two minutes into the round. It's five one break. He sees the Goyo starts taking some shots. He takes him a little bit. Isn't able to secure. He does get out. He gets pinched by Simple Sledge and Twitch, as well as Yana on top of Yellow. It is looking like a very controlled round for one trick right now. A 5v2, a minute 40 in. They do have that full top control. They do have Jaeger going in for a flank through initiation. He's creeping up slowly. Not, not seen anybody yet. Patch is popped. They do have all five players. Or all five. Starting to move down into lower arcade here. Possibly going for an execute on two site. Will he, he will pick off the Nomad right? Bring it down to a 4v2 and gets immediately refragged by the sledge. It is now a 1v4 for, for Karatek in sight. I'll put that out. Make a rotate into Sora going bathroom and get shut down by Ace. Very solid round for one trick. They, they were able to take that top control immediately and that just... Acme didn't have a leg to stand on after very, that point. Very, very solid round from them. Honestly, felt very quick to me. You know, they they entered, they controlled, and they dominated the whole round. Yeah, it's that opening frag onto Arendelle on, I believe it was the mute upstairs that just opened the floodgates for them. And then as well, when that Yana and Sledge both started pinching out that Goyo, that. That was a major shift in in the round, allowing one trick to have that full vertical vertical control and play with it as they would like. Apparently, Attackers need to locate and defuse as many sound. bombs as they can. Apparently, match sound is louder than voices, so I'll fix that up. Real quick here. It'll... Should be better off turning it up real quick soon. Of course, that's okay. There we go. Alright, apologies for that. Should be fixed now. Once again, it looks like we are seeing the same, the, the very similar hole from Acme on this top floor. Doing, they're doing their vertical extend, going back to Drug Lab. We are seeing the same operator lineup coming out for them on the defense. And a, the, I believe the same operator lineup on, on the attack. Personally, but I changed it. Attackers are moving out to something. locate a bomb and defuse it. Yeah, I don't know it, what I changed, but if something didn't work out, I'm sure it might be worth changing. Yeah, it's they'll, they'll have to make some adjustments. They they they'll have to not let them take that break control as early because that's what really allowed them to get those picks and start working that top floor. Setting up air jabs, that goes runouts. Bolsper will start telling on that break belt, that break. Let's break the windows. Turn it open. Get her open. Vantix going up there as well. We also have Sledge and Yana working this cash side. Ace will take quite a fair bit of damage from this Goyo. Goyo will swing him. He will down him, but he won't be able to finish the kill. Yana will swing. C4 goes out. We'll finish off the Sledge. Will and takes a sliver of damage as well. Uggs is able to get away from that engagement unscathed. That is, that will be a very big pick for them as it will be a lot harder for one trick to take that top floor. Start, drone work coming in. Goyo is spotted. Still playing those break room windows. Flash is going in. ADS is capturing some utility as well. Starting to work into that cafe. Nade goes out from the Yana. ADS catches it again. They are, Holsper's in break room, takes some damage from this mute. Mute's with a couple shotgun shells, they both are fairly lit. It's a one bullet gunfight right here first. Arendelle will fall off, gets its way to safety. Through the drone hole. Through the drone hole, Twitch is taken down. It is a 5v3 for Acme with a minute 15 left in the round. They are in a very strong position to secure the round here. Still working that cash side, or cafe side balcony. Volsper will take, or sorry, uh, yeah, Volsper will take down one on top floor. Taking down, a, taking an engagement with 
the mute in throne room. Heretic will take down one. It's immediately refragged by Volsper. It is now a 2v3. One trick has side control. They are going for plant. Player coming in through bathroom. C4 goes out. Does not take down planter. Trying to bait out the plant in the swing. Ozzy will take some damage. As will Chrono. Chrono is going for the plant again. Volsper will be able to take down Arendelle. Even it out to a 2v2. Does not is not able to get an angle on either player. Vexel coming in from Laura Arcade. Chrono takes some more damage. Both one trick players are severely lit up right now. Will, Jaeger will be able to get the frag onto Nomad. Gets hit by an air jab. Mono will go out the window. Nazi will go for the defuse here. Will Will Chrono be able to secure the round? He, does, he isn't able to get an angle on Nazi. He will stick to the defuse and Acme will work. We'll be able to win out that round. So to me, once I hit the one minute and fifteen second mark, I thought instantly it was gonna be an acne round. Nope. No doubt about it. That's just that's my head. Wait. I believe it was well, yeah, Caretick no, on that acne. nomad did an excellent round picking up those frags to even out that man count. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to take down that Jaeger, and Mozzie was able to long arm it from safety, and he just couldn't do anything as he was outside. But that was a major switch in the momentum once those, once it hit that 5v2 mark, because it was looking very much like an Acme round, and they were able to almost claw it back. Fortunately, they weren't able to get eyes on the diffuser in time, and Attackers need to locate and they were able to stick it. Going top floor to uh, daycare funk here for round three. Once again, we've seen some fairly default operator lineups. They are extending the out into office here. Yeah, doing an office extend. Fairly default setup for the most part from what we're seeing so far. Getting those head holes open on that daycare wall. Attackers have located a bomb. One thing that I, that's different I haven't seen a whole lot is that shield sitting down here in vault. So that might be a challenge for one trick to clear out because if they, depending on how many ADSs they have stacked on that, which it's not looking like any two at the moment, sorry, that might be a bit of a fun challenge because between that Aruni gate that has three pieces of burn that they need to coordinate in order to take down that, in order to free up that shield for gren grenading. But it will be a cash side take here from one trick. All five players going through cash side, be it on the balcony or the roof. Control hatch is open. Golden's trying to take an early engagement. He's not able to get anyone. Drone's going into control. They will not be seeing anyone ruining here. Taking an early gunfight on to the bathroom. Sledge Ace will be able to get the opening pick on onto Nazi. It's 5v4 for one trick early into the round. However, Acme does still have a... Acme has started falling off on back on the site. We have nobody extending into this officer initiation. They are starting to... Golden is already beginning to take waiting. We'll take some damage from from the Jaegers. Ace will take down Gugs as well. Gunfight's going out here. Arendelle will get tagged. Heretic will take down Golden. Arendelle re-swings and they have Hit any shots on the sledge. Also, the sledge isn't able to hit him back either. Alibi will take down Ace 3v3 with a minute 40 left. One trick here is in a great position to take this round. Volsper taking down Jaeger, making it a 3v2. While his daycare breach is getting opened up at the moment. Drones are going out. As of right now, both, both Acme players remaining are sitting on site. Neither of them have a great angle onto this breach, except for Arendelle, which if he's able, they're able to get the frag off on him, that'll be it. A very difficult round for Karatek to clutch. Fullspur switching up to the break room or fell. Just take it. One trick just taking their time, droning, get all everything in play before the execute flash is going on the break room. <laughs> One smoke going out. For Karatek, he still has two left in pocket with 55 sec 50 seconds left in the round. Arendelle's getting aggressive. He's able to take down one of them, evening it out to a 2v2. Chrono is still sitting in initiation. They might be going for an execute here, but it will be a tall task with both those Acme players still playing. Or, well, still up. They will. One trick will double up. 30 seconds left. 
flash is going out on site. They are in the, in the site. Arendelle will take down one. He gets refragged by Volsper. Heretics will get the refrag onto Volsper immediately, and Acme will take the round. Wild round. I don't. I don't know what to say there. Honestly, it was smooth and controlled on, right until the end. I I say their execution is is good, but yeah, one they didn't wind up on top this time. The roam clear that one trick had on to just on that uh, cash side take. They had that control very early into the round, like they had oh, yeah. plenty of time to play around with on the site. Unfortunately, they weren't able to flush Arendelle out of his position there, right outside of waiting. Which ultimately, yeah, I feel like he got two big picks on there, which really shifted the tide of that round. Yeah, personally, Attackers I feel the like they stalled for a bomb. minute. They, you know, cleared out. They lost all their momentum because there was no action going on. So they had to kind of regroup and figure out what they were doing. And yep. even though they tried their best, they didn't come out on top. Which yeah, they definitely stalled out a bit on that execute, but split hatch is being open. They. Acme will be extending the top floor here. Uh, their last couple rounds, One Trick has been able to clear out that roam fairly swiftly. So if One Trick is able to make that adjustment to transition more smoothly into that execute, I feel like One Trick would be setting themselves up very well with possibly a 3 3 split on attack. Which for Theme Park, that is an excellent position to find yourself in, as it is a defender sided map with Armory Throne being one of the harder sites in the game to attack successfully. Ooh, Jaeger will get an early spawn peek out. That is big for Acme, bringing it down to a 5v4, and that is their flank watch off the board, as well as their top frag. Golden will get a frag onto Gugs as well, bringing it back down to a 4v4. They still have those two players playing upstairs, starting to drone both control and cash room out. Got two pla three players sitting on the roof. Ace is, or Ace is starting to take that cash balcony. Will they see Keratic on the drone? I believe they did. Sees two, on two, three drones. <laughs> They're being quite <laughs> thorough. I mean, you gotta be in this situation. But yeah, even that bit of 4v4, you that thought... one man count trade, that that is major in the round. That, especially... Yeah, that's major, especially even because they didn't even get to make entry yet. They were just walking off spawn and gone. Oh, it seems God says. Fortunately for Acme, match. that was the player that had died early in the round, so they won't be at a further man disadvantage. So Ace is taking bathroom here. But do they know Arendelle's here with the shotgun? No, they, I don't think they did, but he still managed to get the frag anyways. It is a 4v3 for one trick. They do have this top control for the most part. They only have one player left on upper arcade that they have to clear out they're still taking their time they do manage to get the frag on him through the long angles there it is in a very excellent position for one trick right now they have the full top floor control and they are ready to start transitioning into their execute starting to work down dragon stairs here possibly going for a mate pumping that maintenance breach up no impacts or anything on the board to stop the breach once they get that jammer off maybe we'll go through the you know, Acme's at a real disadvantage here. A 2v a 2v4 with 52 50, now 50 seconds left in the match isn't a good spot to be in. No, yeah. especially especially when they still have two nades and four smokes on the board, they will exchange some sh some shots, but nothing will hit. And having open that or maintenance breach, get, getting more nades in there. Jammer is off the wall. Breach will be open with 30 seconds left. It is about to get hectic. Heretics playing that breach aggressively will not be able to take down anyone. Ace is in sight. Last one is Jaeger left standing in a 4v1. Safe. It is very dire situation. Kona will stick that go. plant. Plant is down. He now has 45 seconds to make a miracle, but it will not happen. Really smooth and controlled by one trick here. You know, Acme had the advantage right off the bat with the spawn peak, but they couldn't hold up. So here we'll be seeing a one minute pause come out for Gugs to reconnect. Never mind. He is back in already. All right. I am lying to you.
But honestly, an incredible round from both sides, honestly. Yeah, both if... teams are playing really well. It's it's a very close game, which is what I think both of us were expecting here. Yeah, that that armory win on attack for one trick is huge because that it as I said earlier, it is a very difficult site to attack. So taking that round is big because yeah. you know a, a two four split on theme park attack that's manageable five ones or one five split that is getting a bit dire yeah. they're able to get through this with an even three three split they are in a very excellent Defenders position protect your bombs from being diffused by attackers but acme's hoping here to close out these last two rounds and go into that attacking side with a two round advantage as theme park is defender sided just in its nature any rounds they can steal here will be will play big. These next couple rounds will play massively into this next to the into the split, both for just momentum as well as the ease of closing out the game. But once yeah, again, we're going we are... back to drug lab here. So, so they can bring back what happened in the first round. Not lose really this time, but of course, one trick is definitely helping to recreate what they did. Wait, yeah, they, do I have it backwards? I swear to God. To locate a bomb and uh, one it. trick took the first round on lab, and then Acme took the second. Okay. Yeah, second round, one trick got plant down, and uh, I believe it was Nazi on yeah, really whoever is Nazi was able to long arm defuse and get it. Save a bit of a brain fart. Here. I am a walking brain fart, so no worries. But so far, it's looking like a cash side take here from one trick. We got the Yana starting to work that cash side. And take work in those break room windows. They do have a player playing aggressive and he is able to get the frag out with a dock shotgun too, nonetheless. It's a bit of an interesting choice, but he's able to get it done. It's now 5v4. Both are starting to open up those windows. Nazi is taking some shots here. Starting to work into cash side here. Nades. Flash of the nades going out. Who, who is this guy playing on this? Aggressively here, sorry. I believe it's <laughs> it's Aaron now. There we go. <laughs> so a five v four situation here with two minutes, with just four. under two minutes left. Yeah. Oh, down to the floor. Three players stacked up on this cash belt. More nades going in. Won't connect with. Well, oh. connect. Sorry, Heretic can be taken out from the floor above. I don't know Attackers if that was intentional, but it works either way. Ace will take some shots, but he will finish up the kill onto Gugs. Arendelle still holding this down hard. They are in sight planting. He's all alone getting that plant down. I don't know if Jaeger knows if but they're all alone. Never mind. Havana's in bathroom to cover the plant. Sludge was on the window as well. One trick will be able to secure that round on attack, which 3-2 split on the theme park. That, that's for 3-2 with a round left is just massive. And they're that's a, actually really big. Yeah, they they are in an excellent position at this moment, regardless of how this next round goes. Jeez. A basic no, I don't know. A basic loadout for offense here, I'd say at least. Yeah, for, fairly default operator choice as well as holds being shown by Acme, as well as fairly. F fairly normal attack t or takes from one trick coming out, which that is how you have to take those default folds there. I'd just like to say that Snorlax is on the chat side. I suck. Well, attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. That's the wise. The wise and old Snorlax. Whatever. Okay, so yeah. where are we now? Big hair bump for our last defending round of the split. Once again, it's looking like we are seeing that extend into office from Acme. The same vault shield being set up here, at least the util for it. So last round, I believe they were, or last time they went here, I believe Teratic was able to close it out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Teratic. Arendelle and Karatek played that uh, 2v1, 2v2, almost perfectly getting each other's trades um, to close out the round. Once again, more aggressive play coming out. Oh, wrong person. He won't be able to take any, secure any shots. 
could possibly bail out the C4, but no damage going on to either player, so ultimately a useless engagement. He will still be getting aggressive on this, trying to pick somebody off on this cash bout. Do they know he's here? He will fall off. Nothing, no frags, early frags coming out for either side, which, but effectively he did waste time putting that seed in the back of their head. That, you know, he will, he is not afraid to swing you. He is still getting aggressive on this bathroom here. We'll take down Ace in an early frag. 5v4, 50 seconds into the round for Acme. Which we've seen this time and time before, but where they are in a good position to capitalize on that man advantage. However, one trick is able to claw their way back. Gugs will get a second to bring it down to 5v3. Golden, Golden and Volsper will both get frags, bring it back down to that man, ad, or even man advantage. We do have Nausea playing in that bathroom. I don't know if they know he's here. I don't think so. That Nomad just completely walked past him. He might be in a perfect position for a big play. The on hologram is going out. It doesn't even see him. Oh, you're here. He has no idea he's there. Nazi will be able to get the frag on him. Caretick will be able to pick off Chrono. Last player is in waiting. He's in a 1v3 with a minute 20 left. He does have a lot of time to work with, but that two-man advantage for Acme is puts him in an excellent position to close up half 3-3. Golden still has two nades in his pocket. Caretick still has two smokes as well. Player top yellow. Nazi will be able to secure the round on a 3-3 split. Honestly, I was expecting a 3-3 split based on just the fact that not many teams seem to practice theme park from what I know. It It's a back and forth game right now. It, it, exactly. Like, Acme gets two picks, one trick responds and gets two of their own. It's It's been back and forth like that all game, which eventually one side has to break and you can only hope that it, it's your team that, exactly. you know, it breaks in favor of. Neither team is playing horribly. I mean, they're both they're getting each other's refrags. They're doing everything they should, but well, yeah. Aside from I that, I feel like it's an ex yeah. I feel like it's an experience thing. Yeah. Aside from that one, you know, I, I don't know if it was a miscommunication or miss drone or what exactly happened there on Nazi and uh, second floor bathroom. Other than that, both teams have been playing fairly solidly, but it's. It's, small, it's small little mistakes that you have to capitalize on in games like this, and Nazi was able to capitalize perfectly on by their lack of intel on it. Securing two big picks to finish out that round and, and the split at an even 3-3, which one trick now being on that defense, their first defensive round, they'll be going to daycare punk. Once again, fairly default operator lineups. Ten seconds remaining. They are extending into cash and initiation. The head holes and castles as well. I'd imagine they play this quite aggressively, just due to the nature of everything being open. Fairly default lineup coming out from Acme. We do see a gridlock and a lion, which are a little unorthodox, but I quite like those picks. It's looking like they will be going for a cafe side take here with that one extra player just hanging out on the backside near cash. Maybe just to put some backside pressure, be a distraction. Who knows, but that's what three players going to the roof immediately. Arendelle still playing down below on the ground floor. Sorry, four players on the roof here. One trick just sitting there patiently waiting. Control hatch will be open, utility and nades will start going in. It looks like it will be a cash side take for Acme. They all broke, started on cash side, but they did rotate over. Lion drops into control, takes some damage, isn't able to take smoke at all. Smoke, toxic babes coming up, he gets trapped in by that barricade. Smoke, Chrono gets a big frag. Vantic picks up a second to make it a 5v3 advantage for one trick early into the round. We do have Nazi trying to work that cat. Cash side, opening a hole from top dragon. Doesn't do anything with it. We'll send out a drone to control. Oh. Um, it's, they're just still working that cash side take here. They don't have any reason. I'm starting to burn those ADSs on that office shield that Vantage is playing. 
They will take down the shield and take down Vantage here. He is only down though, so they may be able to get him back up. This kill is not secured yet. Aaron will start playing those headphones aggressively. Golden will fight back, take down Arendelle. Heretic will get the finish off, the, or kill the castle here. It's effectively a 2v3 now for one trick. They are in a very solid position to take this round, holding those three, three main long angles onto this cache where this thermite is trying so hard to fight for his life. Claw this round back. Vantic still on the ground, bleeding out. Both players in that cache side playing around. They will... Heretic will pick off Mantic here. Or, or finish off Mantic, sorry. Bringing it officially to a 2v3. Starting to take... Heretic starting to take this office. I don't think he is aware this smoke is here. At least if so, he's not paying much with regard to him. Nazi will start working that waiting as well. One trick still playing those peaks aggressively. I don't... They don't know Kronos here. He's in a, here for a big play box. Injures a sledge there. Might, Keratic gets refrag. It's now a 1v2 situation for Keratic. Golden will be able to get the refrag on Keratic and finish out the round. Dan, I'd just like to point out to you, someone in the Twitch chat made their name Stan Sucks at Casting. <laughs> Oh, that's that's Snorlax. That's Snorlax. Oh, it actually. is. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's Snorlax. And apparently, you have me too, Lou, too. I do. Yeah, you but it's okay. Me to I'm turning myself. I'm t fire. bro because because last time, every single time, right? I'm like I'm like out here. We're I'm just chilling, and I come on the stream and I'm mega loud. So, I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right. I'm so, trying to organize scrims at the same time too, because I still got scrims on my team tonight. Oh, by well. <laughs> busy night tonight. Of course, of course. Gotta stay busy. So we're at we're in throne room apparently. It seems that way. We'll be um, we'll be extending vertically here. Get some top floor pressure. They, they will have that maestro cam going and waiting with those footholds to to try to play a little trickiness onto that maintenance breach. We'll see if Air, or Acme is able to recognize that and is able to stop it and shut that down. Because if they aren't aware of that, that can possibly, that can very easily take out both thermite charges. Paired with the impacts of both Volsper and Chrono, Acme's in it, or one trick has set themselves up perfectly for that breach to nylon. At least through destruction of the breach. Or the breaching thermite church. Sorry, I'm fumbling words here a little bit. It's okay. It happens. I'm not really talking much because words are taking the lead hard. here. It's looking right now like a split push on both cash and cafe side. They are starting to focus cafe side here onto this uh, Yana. Some bolts going out, nothing hitting. Uh, Vantic will take a small bit of damage here. They will, they will slightly fall off here. Ooh, Gugs is able to get a big pick, homing pick on the Vantic. Do they know that this player is sitting in control? Whoever it is, I believe it is Golden. Yes, it is. He will get droned out. Mozzie will take his, a drone on his. With his pest too. Another drone taken down. Acme only has four drones left for the minute 50 of the round. Heretic will take down Golden. It puts them in a 5v3 in it to an excellent position. They have, they do have this full top control here, so they have free reign to start messing with this floor. Split hatch is open. Zero cams going out. Ace is in a position where if they don't find him, that might be Bomb very, very bad for Acme. Which it looks like Gugs will, is starting to take that lower arcade. I don't know if he knows he's there. Taking a look around. Could be a big, big pick for Ace here if he's able to even it out or start clawing back that man advantage. But if he does get droned out and Gugs is able to get the frag on him, that can be. They are sh shooting at him. Pings are coming out on him. 
he is, sta he is stuck standing Stopping still with that line scan coming out. He has quite the fight ahead of him with, I believe, two Acme players closing in on him. And third from that cash window, Guggs is able to get the frag on him. It's a 5v2 for Acme here. Volsper starting to get aggressive on this. Red Hall will take down the line. He will get immediately refragged. Putting Chrono in a 1v4 situation here. He will also start getting aggressive. Takes down Arendelle. Will 1v3. Yana will get the refrag onto Chrono and will bring it. I don't know. We'll bring it down. It's, a, it's a split to a 4-4. Four four. Yeah. I'll be honest. I've been saying everybody else's name except for... Uh, what What is it? I... Velks? Uggs? No, yeah, just because I, I haven't known how to pronounce it, and I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> Please advise. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I completely lost focus during that round, so I have no comments. But still a back and forth game. Yeah, it, it's very back and forth. Like, it's... Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Anyways. Seen a very similar lineup coming out from Acme here for this ninth round of the, of the match. Is, there we go. My buttons are hard. We'll be going to office and initiation for round nine for Montrick's third defensive round. It has been as you said, it's a very close game. It's all it's all just back and forth so far. Which you know it'll It'll all depend on, as I said earlier, who is able to have that break in their direction. Which, so far, it, it's looking like neither team is you know, slowing down. They're both, they're both holding strong. One trick did have a slightly weaker round last round, which they're really, I'm guessing they're hoping that uh, Acme isn't able to run away with. It is looking like a. A split take again. They do have Gugs on a knock coming in back side here. He's already working his way through drug. Attackers drop the diffuser. Golden will get a big early pick on a carrot tick. But it looks Attackers like it was a run out here. Diffuser. But Gugs is starting to work his way through. He might get some big picks here. Nade goes in, Cam goes down. He's still playing down below in drug. Starting to work those break room windows here, as well as that lower arcade. Gugs is working his way to bottom yellow with that knock ability if they don't hear him. Oh, run out coming from Golden, and he's able to get the get the pick onto their hard breach. But the Claymore will get the trade on him. It's now a 3v4, or 4v3 for one trick here. They still have that knock creeping around below, and two players planting that cafe balcony here. We do have uh, Ace holding... An aggressive angle on that balcony. Windows are being broken. Zero cams going out. Getting aggressive on that arcade window. Volsper will be able to take down Gugs here. Bringing it to a 2v2. 4v2 for one trick. They're in a great position to secure this round. A minute 34 left. Acme has a lot of work ahead of them. They will take some shots. Not able to connect. Arendelle not able to connect with anything. Vantic will feel some damage to him, more shots coming out. Yana has worked their way into Cafe. I don't believe Vantic knows they have, however. Neither does Ace, he's not even acknowledging them. It could be very dangerous for one trick, but they are able to get out of there safely. They do still have the player on this top arcade balcony. It is the smoke playing off-site. Volsper will take quite a bit of damage from Air from zero of Arendelle. Both players still playing cash. Bullets come out. He doesn't secure anything. They do have that ping. Corona will be able to get the frag out. Back. Yana going for a trade on the engagement. Not able to secure him. It is now a 4v1 for one trick there. And with 30 seconds left. A lot of work ahead of him. I don't think this alibi just sitting patiently on the top yellow. No intel for Yana right now. It's 15 seconds. He has a lot of work and not a lot of time. He will get the frag onto the smoke, but Alibi will be able to immediately trade him out. 
one trick will take down uh, take down Acme and bring it to a 5-4 game. I'm blanking. Stan, I, I, you, you gotta say some words, man. I need a Bro, it's hard. Doctor Pepper, man. It's hard. I need my color oh, caster, man. Say. Your color caster? Yeah, I need the color commentator, man. Well, you're always talking. Shout cast, man. I, I don't know. I, I, gotta, I don't know what to say. I gotta moisten my throat real quick. You should definitely moisten your throat, and then at the end, I'll just yeah, be Stan. You know what else makes mm -hmm. me moist? Attackers need to locate what? and defuse bomb. I thought of this match possibly going full time and getting a full 15 rounds. Is that this I rate? Cry. That's what we're looking at. Because it is it still is a dead lock on round 10. They're using the attack? The new attacker feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's called, but you, that's yeah, the first the, time I think I've seen it. Yeah, the attacker, attacker repick repick. coming out and with both that. Both the Amaru and the Ying, I'd only expect that they're, they're planning to just go straight in. What it's looking like, I, I honestly Ten think Nazi might just try to use the to uh, break windows here and get some early Five picks left off. Before insertion. So, which if he's able to get away with that, yeah, hold the M team getting repicked. Attackers you know, have located a bomb. I like the Ying pick. Not only because I used to be Ying main, but. Ying's a very good op to just go in there and clear sights, honestly. As a Ying player, you are everything I despise. I hope you know that. Yeah, he is just going to go for those break windows. This might be very, very quick round for either side here. I think they're going, getting fully set up for a complete rush here. Which is what it looks like. They got the Ying on Cafe Balk. They got Nazi in position to take that break room control. They don't have anybody holding a gun on it they're here they're all focused on that cafe ying's coming out on cafe nazi's get going in on, on break room here one smoke grenade will come out Everybody's two coming. two picks for bolster and caretake both, for, both getting taken out nazi will be able to take out chrono here jaeger will, Ace will get the refrag Gugs will refrag that as well Vantic will take down arendelle leaving it in a 2v2 golden will take down Gugs, leaving it in a 1v2 Vel Velks on the Nomad will bring it down to 1v1 with a minute 45 left. It's Vantic does have Diffuser on his end, but but with with it being this low man count, it's all it takes is one bullet for this for this round to be done. Both players are full health. Velks still has all three flashbangs left, and Vantic has one hologram left to, he can use and abuse how he pleases. He will start working towards that user. Get a drone out first. Does have eyes on him top yellow. Vantic will, will slowly creep back. Flashbangs going out. You, Velks will be able to secure that final kill in quite a quick round for, for Acme. Evening it out to a 5v5. Still keeping it net for neck. Neck for neck. I wonder, that's that's. I wonder not... if that. I wonder if this quick round will give Acme the motivation they need to just like go ham and just take the rest of the game because honestly that was a really good round. Just cleared them out and yeah, came I... down to a one v one. But even then, that that clutch could have could change things. Yeah, and. One trick did a great job there of recognizing that rush, and they were able to trade out damn near, or actually, they were able to trade out every kill and up until, you know, that last final 1v1, which it's it's great recognition on their end Attackers to be able to, to go, hey, they're rushing, we all need to get back to site, have our guns up, because, you know, it's going down. Which not a lot of teams would be able to one one for one on that Attackers rush, most bomb. would just get overwhelmed and, you know, it'd be she'd be done and over with because, you know, five five guns up inside it within 30 seconds it's not something you expect 
so it's great recognition for one trick there as well as with Acme it's a great job you know get, making sure that their trades don't get wasted and being able to secure out that that round in, a, in that one on there. Five seconds left before insertion. I, I really like how the 1v1 was played, you know. They they played it smart, Attackers are played it slow, the bomb. And, you know. One trick didn't get the get what they wanted, but either way, they both played it well. Yeah, they did. They they both played that very well. And unfortunately for one trick, Acme was able to claw away that round and keep it at that 5-5 five, five scoreline. It's still quite game it's gonna be right until the very end here they do have the blitz on the board they are drawing out cash here maybe they believe that's what it'll take for them to be able to secure that initiation and in office side drones are going out all over cash as well arendelle's trying to get an early pick off onto the smoke and initiation no frags coming out there that still have it. everybody holding their positions they do have top dragon control they are starting to work their way into cash here. Bantic still playing this shield and office on those head holes here. He is in a good position here to get a couple early picks and possibly open up this man advantage in the same way. Same way on the other side there. Also in a great position to get that early man advantage. It's really anybody's game at this point still. The flashbangs were coming are coming out from the thermite from that ADS. Nothing on the shield name. Nade comes out, shield is down. They are starting to work that control side as well. Smoke holding them off with those toxic babes. They do have the blitz starting to creep up. Blitz as well as Twitch creeping up into closer to those cash head holes. Yep. Bullets coming out. Are, are exchanging bullets. Nobody's getting hit at the moment. You do have one player pushing into control here, taking a gunfight with that smoke. It is Heretic on the hard breach, which is quite a dangerous position to be playing. Bantic will be able to take down Gugs. Oh. Nazi will be able to take down Golden, bringing it to a 4v4. Ace is able to get the injure on Nazi as well, bringing, getting that trade on him. Chrono's taking some shots as well. Will barricade up control. Vantic is still playing that top yellow here aggressively. They will re revive Nazi. With 50 seconds left, it is going to be a tight round for Acme to take. They still have a lot of control they need to gain. Which, with both those players still in cash as well as initiation, one trick is in a great position. Especially with time, because time is their biggest factor right now. Acme is very low on utility right now. Volsper will take down Arendelle. They only have one nade and one grenade. Or one nade and one flash left on the board. Heretic will take that gunfight and will get swung by the smoke and killed. It's 4v2. Cancel that. 2v3. 3v2 for one trick. Nazi will get the frag on an alibi. Ace will get the refrag on Nazi. So he'll take down Chrono. He'll, he'll take down Ace as well. 1v1 with 5 seconds left. Does he have time to get the frag on on the Volsper? He doesn't know where he is and he won't be able to secure the round. 6-5 you know, I, I, I for one trick. I really think they were moving too slow at the start, Acme. They they wound up in a really crappy, what was it, a 4v4 situation with like 30 seconds left, and it came down to a 1v1. You know, I, I think they need to yeah, speed went... up a bit. Yeah, they And they weren't went... able to get plant down either because they didn't have defuser. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, one trick's doing an excellent job of slowing them down on that take, especially with that smoke and control single-handedly -handed, fending off that any sort of pressure onto, you know, control and initiation, allowing uh, Vantic on that alibi just to, you know, do his thing and, you know, just stall as long as possible. So they are doing an excellent job holding that. But as I said, it's still anybody's game, like, Attackers need to locate it's, and defuse as many bombs as they can. It's hard to tell who is really going to come up on top right now. Yes, but it's just it's just a back and forth game. I mean, here if one trick takes the round here, then that's the match. Yeah, and one trick has already secured one point by getting to to that six round wins. Uh, for those who don't know, you get one point for an overtime loss, two for an overtime win, and three for a regulation. And following the three for regulation win, you get zero for a regulation loss. 
So Acme's hoping to bring, win this round here and at least secure one point on this game. Because, you know, it's 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 heartbreaking to, you know, have this close of a game, this well fought of a game, and not walk away without anything. So it's... You know, what I was really curious about earlier is if Acme coming on attack would change the pace and how and the way the game is being played. But it really hasn't changed much. I mean, I know we keep saying it, but it's really just whoever wins those little, little mistakes. Whoever capitalizes on them. Doug's trying to get some early nade picks on on site from below early here. Well, nade will come out on top yellow. This might be a big frag here. He will injure Vantic. He won't finish him. They don't know that he is injured, I don't believe. Yana is starting to put some pressure onto this cafe side here. They will take cafe. Jaeger is playing those head holes very closely. Twitch drone will finish off Vantic, bringing it to a 5v4 for Acme, but one trick will be able to get the refrag on the guys immediately, bringing it back down to a 4v4. They do have cafe control at this point. Velx is starting to work that bottom yellow, getting that presence up there. This might be a big pick on this engagement for either side between this Yana and this Jaeger. Whoever gets is able to secure that kill will put themselves in a very great position to secure the round and either take it to overtime or finish off the game. Ace will take down Nazi. He will Nazi will get his fair share of hits in. Ace really hurting after that engagement. It is a 4v3 for one trick. Bona pellets will open up that breach on him. That'll be a much harder position for him to hold now. It looks like Acme has started to rotate Dragon side with both Heretic and Velx starting to work over there. They do have a player in bathroom, however, ready to shut down this cash take. Bulls for potentially big pick here. Heretic will be able to take him down, but he will take a fair share of damage as well. Chrono will be able to take down Velx here, bringing it back to a uh, 3v2. Arendelle and Ace taking a in a gunfight, Aaron Dell will be able to secure the kill on Ace. Heretic is in sight here with 50 seconds left. He does have Diffuser in hand. He will get shot from bathroom by Chrono. Aaron Dell is in a 1v2 situation. The game relies on this play right here. He has 45 seconds to work his magic. They know about the player in bathroom. The second initiation, he will take some shots at the mute. Well, we'll be able to secure him down to a 1v1 situation with 30 seconds left. Aaron Dell sticking the plant. Golden is starting to work his way over, moving very slowly as not to alert Arendelle to his position. He will rotate top white, try to play those head holes. Arendelle isn't sure about sticking this plant here. He has 15 seconds. He has to do something, be it stick or go for the kill. Golden's still playing this very, very carefully as to secure the game. Plant will go. He is sticking the plant here with five seconds left. He gets off the fuser. Arendelle will be able to get secure the kill in the round, taking it to overtime. Did they trade there? Uh, no, they no. did not. No, they did not. Yeah, it's... That was really intense. Yeah, yeah that, was a, that was a great round right down to the wire, which, fortunately for Acme, they will be able to secure at least one point from this game. However, one trick, they're not going home with all three. So they'll, they're now playing for that third point, which, you know, as I said earlier, I this game is down right to the wire, and it can Pause. very possibly go 15 rounds yep so yeah, we're gonna see a, a tactical timeout come out which is gonna last at least one minute well a maximum of one minute here um you know we're yeah, gonna we're right? going into overtime um yeah but both, both teams here just taking an opportunity to reset refresh their mental here really quickly because they do want to secure those two points uh it they they do both teams do have one point at least, which it is a very hard fought game. As I said earlier, it's heartbreaking, heartbreaking to go home with you know no points after this close of a game. Um, golden, <laughs> golden oh. wants to. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh yes, this pause is longer. Maybe. We'll we'll see how long this pause lasts now. If golden, if one trick likes wants to use theirs, they can, I guess. But you know. Honestly, I'm not surprised to see this game and go to overtime. Yeah, it, it's it, it's been very hard fought the whole way around. Like it's yep. no one's been able to get a firm grasp on the other. It's they're they're going blow for blow, which both of these are very strong teams. It, it's 
I, I somewhat expected it to be close and in coming into this match, but not this close. Yeah, Which... I, I really thought, you know, one team was act was going to, like, take it and run with it. But so far, it's just been whoever can capitalize the most. Yeah, it's... That, it's that's all... what I'm getting at. You know, like, who, who can get the first frag in the game? It's And all... even then, we saw that spawn peak right off the bat. And... They still lost the round there. Acme still lost the round there. So, yeah, it's it's all about capitalizing on those small little mistakes, which exactly. both teams have been doing that greatly. They've both been able to get trades off each other. They've both been able to clear somewhat effectively. Uh, like, there's just there's no room for error right now, and any small issue or any small error that is made, the other team will right. capitalize on it. Which, you know, if Arendelle, in that last round, I believe he he played that very well because, uh, you know, being able to secure that round and the point as well in that 1v1 situation, you know, it's... We're ready. All right, ready. Yeah. Wait. Um... It's rock, but... Yeah, it's, it, it's going to come down to round 15, I believe. You know, I really think it is, and, and even in overtime, I yeah, don't it's... know what to expect to see. I mean, each team has secured one point, but uh, unless one that's not what this is coming down to right now. Able to make some drastic, you know, change during their talk in that pause there. It's, it's, I believe it's still like around 15 here. Yeah, I think, I think we're going. Yeah, and... all the way. Yeah, and on a, the side of one trick, AC seven, and Ace and Golden are both having fantastic. Everyone's having a great game on the side of one trick. You know? Ten seconds left before the, insertion. The only person that's slowly falling a little behind in kills is Vantic, but Five even then, his remain. pressure on those holding those roams has been very impactful on the other ones. As well as same with Acme, you know, it's they've all been making big impact plays, which unfortunately. If your kills and deaths don't quantify that impact fully, but no one is having a bad game. We don't have anybody out here dropping, pulling a spirits and you know, going one and eleven. They're all playing very strong. It, it, it's hard to just said it. We can't say who's going to win or who's going to lose or who's having a better game. Because, frankly, located it, a bomb. we can't They're all playing very well. Hey, right now. But, hey, dude. 45 seconds into the round here. It is looking like a cash slide take. Ace charges will be going out in an attempt to push Ace off his position here on the egg. On kids. Vantic will team kill. That is a big advantage for uh, Acme right off the rip here in that 4v5. I'm sure he's kicking himself over that one there. They do have that cafe control early into the round. They do have that player upper arcade who just fell back. Golden on the Wamai. Vantic is still playing those yellow stairs fairly aggressively. Golden possibly going for a flank. I believe he did get droned out. We'll see if he, you know, sticks the flank, which I believe he's fallen off here. They will have Twitch on the flank watch. Arendelle will take some damage. Belks will be able to secure the kill on the Wamai, bringing it to a 5v3. Shots coming out from the Ying and as well as... Vantic on the Alibi. Vantic will take down Gugs here on Yellow Stairs, bringing it back down to a 3v4. With minute 15 left, it's it's still a very tight round. They do have that Rome presence Bomb cleared out, but the Vantic is creeping around up near Yellow. I'm sorry, falling back to Dragon now. It, it's still something they have to be very worried about. Looks like they do have Smoke playing this initiation rotate hole very aggressively. They do have Volsper on the shotgun right in great. Heretic will be able to take him down here. Heretic's in initiation. Shooting at the toes, he isn't able to get anyone. Two, two players swinging into initiation to take down the smoke here. It is a 4v1 for Acme. 1v5, for, or four people left for Vantic to take down here. He does get the second. He'll start working on that third player. If he gets all three of these players, that is an ace on the round for him. But unfortunately for him, Arendelle will be able to take him down and secure the round. You know, re really quick, really quick show of dominance by, by Acme here. You know, they started clearing out shop. Really, 
at like a minute 30 from what I noticed. They were at a 5v3 advantage. So, you know. But yeah, that, that team that, kill that's on just the something to comment on. early around that's, that really opened it up for Acme to start taking that pressure and all that control on that uh, bunk and daycare side, which, you know, once you lose that roam pressure, it's it, you, and you have free reign over all of that map real estate, it makes it very difficult to hold because, you know, you get breaches open as well as, you know, just having to worry about those gunfights and all that utility usage, which it's it makes it very difficult to hold when you have, you know, when the attackers have two minutes to play around Defenders with that execute your bombs from being and just by work their magic. But round 14, we will see Acme back on defense going Armory Throne here. They are fairly default lineups coming out for both teams, with the exception of the Thorn for Acme. Not, not bringing too much utility, but you do have a shield and a very, very strong gun on Thorn. Which, we'll see if Guggs is able to capitalize on that and get some big picks here. Which, it's, but, but by and large, it's looking like the same hold they've done before here. That top floor extension, just get some pressure on it. Up there, delay the delay one trick as long as possible. Very default lineup coming out for one trick. Attackers are moving. Uh, to looks like they will be going for a cash side take initially. No crazy spawn peaks this round though, so sadly, sadly, but gotta yeah, play it safe and over time. Yeah, it, it's a very big risk in overtime because you know if you if you do get the kill. You, you do are able to spawn kill one of the attackers. It works out lovely for you. Gugs is getting a bit aggressive here on this dragon balcony. He Gugs does not been have aggressive the whole game. Yeah, to it's... be honest, he's been the one going out for the spawn peaks, and they are starting to work those rooftop that rooftop control hatch here, getting drones into the cash. They will open cash door. Gugs is in a position where he's able to possibly able to take someone down. Ace. Flash is coming in from, from Wolfsburg. C4 goes out, takes Ace up a bit, but isn't able to secure anybody. Bantic has already used both his grenades here. Just working that cash side balcony here. They have fallen back to waiting as well as Vault here. So they do have a bit more real estate to play around. Uh, Gugs is starting to even fall back even further here. Arendelle has completely taken off. It's looking like one trick does have this top floor control if they really, you know, try to make an effort to completely squeeze them out here. But even then, they're both so far back that they they are effectively no longer holding it. They still are playing those head holes quite aggressively. Golden is getting aggra working up on the Gugs here. They do have Jackal playing for two in initiation here. Uh, Nazi jumped down... Uh, Arcade balcony here. Full top control with a minute 15 left. All, all the Acme players falling back either onto site or onto sort of lurk positions where they are able to help out on site. Heretic will get taken down from the, from the split hatch by Vantic, which opens it up, opens up the kills to the rounds with only a minute left. Which is, it's a 5v4 now for uh, one trick, which trick. it is still a very... They do have that man advantage, but 45 seconds left with no breach open is on Armory Throne is a very difficult position to work with. However, the, Ar yeah. or Acme does have three players off-site. Arendelle will get, will get the frag onto Golden here. He will fall off. Nazi's playing on his yellow stairs. They are starting to work on that uh, barrel's wall here. They will send Belks back into sight through split. Look, they are getting smoked burn over that maintenance wall, possibly going for the thermite charge left. There is 15 seconds. Nazi will take down Vantic here. Belix will take down two on that split doorway. That's all left to Chrono here in a 1v4 situation. Belix will be able to secure the round as well as the second point on the game. Nice. Very strong showing from both teams. They yeah, you, you can't you can't be mad with that. No, like it's, it, it is a little upsetting to you know have a game that close yeah. and be the one that only walks away with one point. But oh, screenshot. Oh, look, I got the scoreboard. <laughs> it's okay. We can we can pod review. 
But yeah, but yeah it's it, it's very disappointing to be that team that walks away with one point on a very close contested match like that. But yeah, you know, it's that's just the way the wiener rolls. It's you, you can't win them all. Uh, very strong showing from both One Trick and Acme. Uh, you know, it's it's you know, there's not much to say. Like they. You can't really try to pick out too many negatives on that because there just yeah, weren't very many to see, other than you know the odd miss drone on you know that uh, who was it? Who was who uh, was, but yeah, it, that, it uh, resulted. Out, yeah, that, yeah, the um, the result Rooney was... playing in second floor bathroom there on that first defensive split. That you know, it's just small things like that, which yeah. you know allow you to yeah. really. You take if you take advantage of those small mistakes, that's what will you know result in the win. And I feel like Acme just did it a little bit better, which but, you yeah, know, real great. quick, I might I might have, I might have to ban or like from our chat real quick. <laughs> Damn, rip, have to rip the homie Snorlax. Can, I, can you time out a moderator? I did time him out. <laughs> <Wait a minute. laughs> um, so one thing you could point out is. One trick did move really, really slow that last round, which I feel like could have, if they moved just a tad bit faster and, you know, maybe open some stuff up, it could have changed the way that round turned. You know. But that's, ju that's just me. You know, neither team played bad. It was a great game from both sides. I can't complain with outcome. You know. Yeah, it was, it was a great match all the way along, and you know they're very hard, hard fought battle on both sides you know no one really ran away with the lead i think the biggest i think it was honestly one round difference the whole match up until that uh 14th Twice. round where it, yeah where um acme was able to secure the game which you know it was. it's a bit nerve-wracking being in that situation playing it but you know it, it makes yeah. for you know great siege to watch yeah it makes for an amazing game to watch, you know. Yeah, it's. I was, I was personally, you know, I was kind of expecting this. I can't lie, I was, I was expecting the very close game to. Oh well, yeah. Not I... end with Acme winning, but I was expecting, you know, the, the really back and forth gameplay here. Yeah, as I said earlier, I was expecting a, you know, a close game, but not that close. Like you know, I was expecting something like a seven four seven five for either side, but you know, not that deep in or that close going all the way into overtime which you know it's very it's very very good game when that happens because yeah. you know it's fun to watch it's fun to cast it's you know it's a lot it's more fun to watch i think i feel than you know just absolute 7-0 curb stomping which we yeah, haven't had but, one of I mean, those yet it's in interesting TPL, to I don't see. think but you know it's no not very yet strong not showing yet. from both sides um so we're getting word that one of the acme players wants an interview you um, want me to drag him up uh yeah here i'll let you conduct the interview because i was i've been talking this Not whole time a... nope uh, here are zings here he can do it hi zings hi, 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 all right hello gugs hello how you feeling um i'm feeling very good actually uh <laughs> that's good so yeah. How do you uh how do you think you performed during that game, honestly? Um, not gonna lie, it wasn't personally it wasn't the best performance I've ever had, but um as a team, you know, I, I'm really uh really proud of how we adapted to their uh interesting play style. Uh nice. so that's what we could take from that game. Yeah. Um I commented a little bit about how you were playing very aggressive. So um do you think do you think if you played uh more passively, do you think that would have resulted differently or um, definitely. I mean, uh, I died every round but the last, so <laughs> I think I was uh, <laughs> a bit over aggressive. <laughs> I mean, you still got the win, so that's that's what matters. That is true. But, um, how do you think your team did? Um, I think the beginning of the game, we were kind of struggling to pick up on uh, what exactly um, um, what exactly the enemy team was doing. Um. But as the game progressed, like we just started clutching rounds, we started to, uh, to get the flow in. So right, right. Mm -hmm. I noticed that. Yeah. Um, God damn it! 
What was I about to say? Oh, so. God damn it. Our words are hard, Stan. They are hard, but we're conducting a live interview here. <laughs> it's important. So have you um have you played theme park in the past for like a competitive game or is this one of your first times? I would say um theme park's probably one of our most practiced maps. <laughs> so uh oh. without uh or well not practiced but I would say played. Uh so yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. We per we first Ooh, who just left? I was saying left. We personally thought that, you know, you guys didn't practice much, neither teams, but. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit of Just based on the back, yeah, just based on the back and forth nature of the game, we, we thought, you know, neither teams really practice much, but. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Dina, you got any questions? Um, yeah, so, you know, with how close I was, it, there wasn't the biggest round difference until overtime there was you know a whole one round so like what were the were there any or what was the attitude like in the team like were, were all you guys still having a good time or was it you know that sort of knife's edge where you know it's at any moment it could swing for the better or worse um i think generally like we have, we have a very good vibe on the team i will say though uh we were kind of getting a little bit of annoyed. Um, I I don't know which player it was. I think it was um, I think it was Ace. He kept on just like swinging us every time. We got really annoyed from that. So that definitely uh, affected maybe our uh, our mental a little bit during that game. Yeah, it's it's very strong showing from both you guys in one trick. You know that that whole game it was you know very close. Like there were a few rounds where you you know have a bit of an advantage with those early picks, and they'd come right back and. How is it, you know, that, what, what, what sort of adjustments did you make to counter that, um, you know, where you'd get two bodies and lose two and bring it right back down to a 3v3? What, what sort of adjustments did you make to uh, counter that happening? Uh, I think later in the game, we're sort of realizing uh, some rounds are playing like a little bit too far apart. So um, like some of the rounds we brought a blitz. Uh, and that was more just to, you know, play close to the blitz. And get refrag, right? That's kind of the idea behind that. Uh, and that we we're just trying to play a lot closer together more during the end. I think that's what uh, got us that win. Yeah, for sure. Um, Stan, do you have anything else you want to add? No, it just it was a very good game. It was really interesting to watch, and I apologize for your VOD review. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's all. Um. And then, yeah, Gugs, if you have anything you want to say, then now's the time. And... Um, don't really have much to say. I uh, was a bit surprised, though, that uh, Doc's shotgun on one of those rounds, complete, like, mispick, uh, ended up actually, like, really working. So, it's <laughs> the only thing I could say. Maybe we'll see Doc Shock in the future. Alrighty, well. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for the interview. We're going to get uh, Golden in here for an interview from One Trick. So, thank you for interview and best of luck in the future good game tonight all right thank you again thank you right. uh, let's get golden in all right here. Come through. oh it's not there we go oh. Oh, oh. oh did you drag him and then i i dragged him as well oops there we go there we go <laughs> keep me here <laughs> hey listen it happens it happens it happens on oh. the bigger jobs i want to say um really the other team played phenomenal um, I think on a different day, we may have come out on top. We had a lot of mistakes there. Um, this week's been a bit rambunctious for uh, scrims and stuff. So we go, we went into this kind of expecting to lose, and we're quite delighted that we were able to get a point off on a team that is as accomplished as Acme. They're very aggressive. They're very gifted in the gun skill department. Um, and uh, very, very happy to be able to play a really good game of Siege with them today. Yeah, you you guys played very well. Um, you know, it's it's a very tight game. You know, one mm -hmm. round difference the whole the whole time, except for when Acme took those two overtime rounds to secure it. Um, what what was the the general vibe in the in the call when you know it was that close back and forth? To be honest with you, all of us were calm but me. I was kind of nervous. Um, I want to say 
Chrono specifically uh, played a really good game of Siege today. I want to say Ace, especially in those early rounds, he hit shots that I can only dream of hitting. Um, Vantic, very consistent. I, I want to say that everybody did really good. And I can't say one player did this wrong, one player did this wrong. That's, have, that's the reason we lost. Um, they played a really good game of Siege. Um, and I want to say that after I lost that 1v1 on that match point, um, I think the mental shift changed a bit. And I think that's kind of what we have to deal with, especially being a newer team. As, uh, as we continue to play here, I feel like that'll uh, slowly go away. But I think the morale kind of changed there when that happened. And I think that was kind of the round that we lost the game mentally. And yeah. I don't think we won a round after that, actually. Yeah, and then as well, I believe it was that first overtime <laughs> round. There was that uh, team kill. Um, oh, you know, yeah. I, was that part of a major momentum shift there? Or do you feel like it just, no, you know... That, we, we, lost when I, we lost when I lost my gunfight. Um, Vantic, uh, it was Vantic onto Ace there. Ace was uh, rotating off the position, and Vantic believed that he could shoot an Ace charge. Um... Long story short, he shot Ace, not the charge. <laughs> um, and it, uh, it ended up really causing a big momentum change there. And the, that round, I think, specifically as well, uh, Volsper and Chrono missed a couple kills that um, on, a, on any other day, on any other match, on any other round, they could have hit. And um, I feel like that was also due to the mental change. And I understand when you can get really nervous, uh, especially when you're in that overtime and it's really important. Uh, even me, like, I, I, I mess up a lot there. Um, I'm I'm not perfect and I'm not even close. I, I I want to say that a lot of the games my teammates are the ones that are able to carry me, and I'm I'm really okay with that. Um, the Acme did a fantastic job today, and that's I don't that's all I can really say is that they played the better game of Siege. Yeah. Then uh, yeah, Stan, do you have anything? Uh, anything? You know, I had a question lined up, but but I forgot. No. Um, you guys, I know uh, you two are very competent people. I'm sure the cast went very well. Um, hopefully the, I think I got, I think I told like fifty some people were watching, which is insane. Um, yeah, definitely on Acme's side. Let, let me uh, <laughs> hang on. Let me look at stream insights here real quick. There's forty four in stream right now. That's still insane for yeah. Like it's definitely Acme that brought in a lot of those people because we're not very known, and um. I want to say that I'm I'm glad that they were able to play a really good game of Siege today, and I'm uh, I'm happy that we were able to get that one point off. Um, yeah, I think if we were to face them again, it could be a different outcome. We have a, if we had a little bit more practice and a little bit better mental capacities, I feel like that goes a bit differently. But this time, they definitely they showed up and they they shipped us right right out right out the door. Um, and I'm okay. uh, that, that was good. It was good. Yeah, it was it was just a very close game all around. Like I really, it, it could have went either way. Like. Well, everybody on both sides was playing very well, and, you know, up until that overtime, it was, you know, neck for neck. I keep saying neck yeah. for neck. Neck. So. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I lost well, a train I, of I'd thought like now. To... <laughs> so, well, um, then I'd like to correct you real quick, but, um, so, we hit a max of 61 viewers. Exactly. Like, come on. Like, uh, for a game like this, I doubt that more than 10 of them were us. Um, maybe we'll see what happens next week. Or maybe, maybe, maybe they're just, um, they, they just love you, Stan, and, uh, maybe this, this casting duo really brought them in. Um, you know, but... Maybe it did. <laughs> yeah, maybe they did. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I wanna say specifically something, a really good props to one of the enemies here. Gugs, his knock scared the absolute... Like, can I see? Can I, can I swear? Yeah. <laughs> so it scared the, scared the shit out of us. Um, so I, I remember... If if they weren't able to lock back, look back, and if they were able to catch me doing it, like every twenty seconds, I had like my my eye just stared on the staircase. I killed him twice, and like I even remember one time he even went up uh, dragon stairs and was able to sneak up on us. He was just a second too slow. But on any other day, if we don't check that one cam at that moment, he wins the round for them easily. And it was the scariest thing I faced in a while. <laughs> um. No. Um don't think i got any more questions so stan if you do go for it if not then golden if you got any sort of final remarks um for those of you that showed up today <laughs> that were voting for us um i appreciate you guys in full um next next week different outcome i guarantee it stick around um 
I don't believe there's any more games this week. No Limits vs. Inferno hasn't played yet, right? Or um, I'm not sure. I think I believe they did. Uh, okay. Yeah, then... so they went to Chalet, if I remember correctly. Mm. Yeah, I think well, that's... Um, let's see. Yeah, No Limits and Inferno really? did play. Um, It was 7-4 for Inferno. So yeah, I think that's oh. the last match for the week, hey? Yeah, it's the last match for the week. I'm hoping that if you guys actually want to see if you can make the games, you can go to the uh, TPL Twitter. Um, it's I'm sure they've had it plugged somewhere. And if not, they'll plug it after I leave. Um, but they, they li like to keep it very uh, updated on there. So if you guys need to know when games are, go there. Or I don't know if they're allowed to, but they can join the Discord. Um, yeah, I I'm going to go now. I want to say thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, especially 60 people. That's an absolutely insane to think about. This is very, mm -hmm. this is very, very, very nice to see. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go now. Thank you for joining Thank us. you, casters. See you guys. Have a good night. Have a good one. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, awesome. Alrighty. Any final okay. remarks you got, Stan, or... No, I think I we've think about that set our piece. about wraps it up here. You know, yeah, it was an amazing game. I'd like to thank everybody who came out to watch. It was an amazing event with you guys. You know, couldn't... This is the biggest crowd I think we have seen since the start of TPL. Don't quote me on that, but I'm I think it's quote you, on that. you know you can you can come follow us on Twitter at TPL twenty twenty two or join the Discord. I will drop the link in the chat shortly. Anything um, else? No, I I don't got anything to say. Um, yeah, for those of you who didn't see the match score before it ended here, uh, eight six victory for Acme. Uh, both teams played very well tonight. Um, great game all around. But I think that about does it for us. So we're going to end the stream here. So have a great night. Have a good one, guys. Bye.